Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be going out into the dark, dark world, and we're going to see what it has to offer us. I see a waterfall, which is kind of nice. Let's go to the raw yellow dorm and just uh, enjoy our time there, and maybe even find some students lurking about. You lonely bastard. Not a single student wants to spend time with you. Uh-huh, yeah, I'll buy one. I'll buy one of your pathetic cards. Oh, come on! Oh my god, fine, two! But you robbed me, sir. Sir, you robbed me. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. Thank you, sir. I, uh... I will take that. <laughs> I can't believe that man just robbed us. Sorry, Alexis. I thought somebody would be at the raw yellow dorm. It seems like I was incorrect. Good morning. I am energetic. That is correct. Let's go ahead and find, uh... Hmm. Let's find some duels. Let's go to the classroom. Yeah, I like the classroom. We're gonna head inside the classroom. We're gonna see what we can do. Well, we got some interesting duels here. Wow, I have not... Oh, wow, we do not see... We have not seen these two characters' new decks. Let's do it. Tag duel. I'm sure my... I know Hayden's not, because Hayden's a ninja deck. But I don't remember Michael, but I'm sure he's not on the list. So let's go ahead and make some room for him. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Let's just enjoy this duel. Two Slifer Reds should give us a easier fight, even though we've totally lost to Slifer Reds in the past. Reshift down in Alexis. We've had our differences, but we won a whole championship tournament together, so I'm not going to say our combo's bad. We just get unlucky sometimes. Sonic Bird is a good start if I had gone first and not fourth, but we're going fourth, so what do you want from me? She already has Dakini, she just needs a level 2 or another level 4. Instead, she has decided to kill Majestic Mech, which is fine. I'm okay with this. I don't like that she set one of her rituals, but the AI is the AI. Monsterborn brings back our Majestic Mech, making a huge, huge problem for us. And based on my hand that I had, I can't exactly beat it. I might be able to buy us some time, but I cannot beat it. Yeah, this- oh, well, there we go. Alright, well, first things first. I special summon Cyber Dragon to see if they have a trap card for it. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I activate Lightning Vortex. And in this case... Well, I was gonna activate Swords, then Lightning, but I didn't realize... I should've played Swords first. That's on me. I'd even think about Night Assailant, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna change up my Lightning Vortex play. I'm not gonna go for my Ritual anymore, because I don't care anymore. Uh, I am going to go for safe Shining Angel because it can float under a Bottomless. And, uh, you know, we'll float in case they destroy all of our spells and traps. And it, it synergizes with my partner. She can actually use this card. She could also use Freed, but I don't want Freed dying to a trap. There we go. I'm sure with her premature burial, she can turn this duel around. Or Soul of Purity and Light. That'll do it too. Dear God. Yep, Premature Burial, unnecessary. Shining Angels, very necessary. Soul of Purity did not get popped. Lucky us. It got popped. Oh, uh, well, that one got popped. Unlucky for us. But we got to do some burn for it, so I guess it was okay. And we'll make do from that. Exile Force gets rid of Soul of Purity. I give them credit for that. I still have my Freed that I saved over, so I could do some decent damage on my turn. But they do have a trap. So this guy has a lot of destruction. Michael has been doing mostly destruction effects. So hopefully he didn't get TT, but everybody has TT. Or Mirror Force. I attack. He's saving it. It's Saku. It's gonna be freaking Saku. It's not! Whoa! Another Chinthonian Blast then. Next turn we win and Swords never ran out. Well, it's gonna run out, but it's gonna be fine. All Alexis has to do is play Heavy Storm, and we have a guaranteed game. She did not draw it, but that's all she had to do. We bring back the Soul of Purity and Light. We summon the Senju. If you play- you know if you play Dakini, we basically win by piercing, but... All in all, we still win. She does not like playing Dakini, even when she has the proper levels. I guess that that is something I'm gonna have to live with. Kind of a bummer. I feel like in the tournament, she played it a lot more. Alright, so, hello there, kids. It's me, Cooper. Ew! Ew, I don't care if you have a new deck. No one wants to look at you, buddy. Uh, Rio has a new deck. I don't remember Rio. Let's duel Rio. Somebody with an R, I think, was on the list. I, 
There's one Slifer right. It might have been you. Why did I only have one? I have two duels against Pablo, so why did I only have one duel against you? I may have just walked into a trap. We might get stuck for a bit, but it is a new deck, so maybe, just maybe, it'll be okay. Ooh, okay. I like this hand. This is a risky, risky dice jar hand, and I'm a fan. We'll start off with Bolted Kong first, just in case he's a flip effect deck. We gotta make sure it doesn't work. He is a flip effect deck. Yep, Rio's on... I I think Rio was on the list. Maybe he's not, but he has, he has list potential. We'll see if he earns his spot, if he hasn't already. There's large gaps between who I fight, so sometimes it's hard to remember who's where. Swords is annoying, but I have two burn cards waiting to go. The problem is it works really well with a flip effect deck. Luckily for me, he didn't even get anything. Uh, this would stop draw power, which is not good right now since I want a ritual, but it will be good later once I get my ritual. I want to set up Dice Jar and get it prepared to pop off because we're going to need it for the burn. I actually started to do with three burn cards. That's really lucky. Uh, four burn cards. Count Dice Jar. Yeah, no, that's really lucky. Damn. All right, maybe I'll just play Thunder King so he can't do it. Let's uh, flip... And I'm going to roll a six. Shit! Three? Oh, okay. At least we won. Man, the ones... If we had done that, I would have won. If we roll... If that six had gone through, we would have won the duel right now. It would have been the craziest win ever. Instead, we live in the world where I didn't. But now I'm baiting them into Magic Cylinder, and then I can win the duel after that. This is still insane burn. Since I started with all my burn cards. Not the best card for Magic Cylinder, but it still works. This is still a new Kazi. You know what? I wanted a new card anyway. Sucks about losing Dice Jar, though, because that means Solar Ray is going to get a little bit weaker. But I still want to build it up, so it's fine. God, Guardian Statue is going to be so annoying. And this guy loves back row, so yeah, I'm a little worried. Just play Freed. Hold off. I don't want to ceasefire, but if that card pops, he's still going to be able to pop me, but then he'd be stuck face up, so it's worth it. Alright, I activate ceasefire. Oh, you're just... You just beat all my burn cards. Damn it. Holy crap, how many dark bribes does this man run? Okay, well, I do have Reshef, but... Reshef is useless in a situation like this. Stall situations are not for Reshef. Unless they're monster stall, then he can beat it. This sucks. That really sucks. Not yet. There's probably, I'm probably going to get more monsters out. Okay, well, at least I can start attacking, but... Oh, yeah, he was on the list, for sure. For sure he was on the list. Not even a Jason. He was on it. All right. Now, Reshef... Oh, I did draw MST. Could do that, but I don't need to. Now, Reshift. If I had a weaker monster, I would just do that to see if I could test out my attacks. But since I don't, I have to MST now and pray to God he doesn't also have Gravity Bind. Okay, so Real was on the list. That's why he, I only had one victory against... Oh my God, he's just a bunch of counter cards to protect his stall. Oh my God, I'm so sick of this. I should have just Reshift, but now I need more spell cards to Reshift. I'm going to get bounced constantly. This duel sucks. Uh, at least this does create a funny situation for me. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't have anything weak enough. Yeah, there's no reason to scapegoats yet. I was thinking about scapegoats, but if he's just going to keep bouncing me, I can't save Reshef unless I have a spell. And I did not draw a spell. Luckily, I drew Senju, so I can use Senju. And I can at least get my other Reshef, so I don't have to pay for pay for two. But since he stopped all my burn, my alternate win condition got countered. He Dark Bride me and End of Anubis me. That's three counters. That's brutal, dudes. All right, let's see if I can hit the other card at least. Okay, well, that's not good. That is that is the opposite of good. We are in a bad situation. We are in a very bad situation. The only way I get out is with my Heavy Storm, since he already negated MST. 
But he already has two other back row cards that can maybe stop me. So, I'm probably going to need to try and get him to negate my Ritual Summon. Alright, send you. We can at least kill one of them off unless he's also holding back a negate attack or something. Since Ryo is definitely a stall bounce deck. Shining Angel could do it, but there's no point in Shining Angel. I'm going to get bounced constantly. I was thinking about scapegoating, but I don't want my field to fill up just yet. Okay, I hit one of them. <clears throat> I did hit one of them. And I could force out the other one in a few turns. Throwing away cards is good for Freed. Um... Yeah, I'm going to hit Bolted Kong. I'm keeping a couple of these other cards for other reasons. Shining Angel especially. Okay, there we go. He gets to attack. I still haven't drawn a spell, which is the only reason why I haven't uh, decided to use Scape. Well, I don't know if he runs Burn, other than that Judgment of Anubis card. So it's probably better to keep my life points a little bit healthier than I have been. That rat's going to be a problem. That rat is going to be a definite problem. Shit, I'm not drawing spell cards. Oh my god. Where are my spells when I need them? Alright, let's try to use that rat to our advantage. I will Shining Angel the rat. Alright, Shining, <clears throat> Shining Angel giant rat. I'm assuming that he'll have enough rats to handle my two angels because I don't think I ever pulled a third. But that's not the whole plan. Alright. We'll use this one to destroy this one. We're going to keep thinning out our decks. I know I'll lose by deck out, but we're not going to deck out, trust me. Plus, this gives me higher odds of getting my heavy storm. And some of my other cards that can beat it. Pretty sure I ran Regeki Break in this. I don't know if it's something I draw that often, though. Alright, so this time we don't attack the rat. We actually attack this card. And we're going to use this attack in order to make it so it has to stay face up. And then we can sneak in with Senju. Another Voltic Kong for the grave. If he used one powerful monster, I'd be using my Freed by now. But no power. Oh, shit! That card is perfectly comboed with Messenger of Peace. That's... Ugh, my time limit is running out. I am running out of time. Plus, that was a really good play by the opponent. And that changes everything. Alright, so... Shit. Okay, Brain Control helps. Brain control definitely helps. How do I do this? A thousand burn won't be enough. I must do some stuff. Okay. Let's do it. I'm okay with this. I summon Reshef knowing it can't attack. I activate Reshef's effect by getting rid of Brain Control, ironically, but I can at least pick a face-down defense monster. Then I can flip said face-down defense monster, and by doing so, I can get rid of this card. Yes! I used his own Cryo Sphinx against him! Oh, wait, he threw away Messenger of Peace. That's not right. He had two? His mom let him have two? Oh my god. Then I summon Senju. And then I do a crazy play. I attack his own Sphinx. To get rid of the problem. I still have to deal with the Sylphid. I was really hoping I'd be able to hit the Sylphid, but I didn't. Oh, I need to draw spell cards. I need to draw spell cards for Reshef. That was unlucky as hell. Selfie can end this duel. And he knows it. Spell card. Shit! I'm not drawing any of my spells. My unlucky nature is kicking in. The good thing is, 
What I can do is try to force out the summon. That's way worse in this current situation. Okay, um... Now we Thunder King, for sure. Now we Thunder King. Ah, oh, damn it, Golem Sentry! At least Sylphie wouldn't have slowed down my field because I was building up a field for ma massive burn. His Messenger of Peace has to cost him eventually. That's Sylphie. Golem Sentry's gonna flip, destroying Reshef. I only have one ritual spell left. And since I didn't draw a spell card, I wasn't able to stop this from happening. If I had drawn a spell, I actually would have got some direct attacks in. The good news is, I did get him in attack mode, so that that's something. But my monsters are too weak, so I either have to deal with Sylphite or Golem Sentry. And with my life points the way they are, I don't really have enough time for either method. I'll summon Alias for now. I gotta build up my field after all. Senju will deal with a problem that we can actually deal with and get some damage down, which is necessary. Alright. Damn, Rio. I really didn't want to run into a stall duelist. I should have noticed when I only had one win on a Slifer Red duelist. Enough time had passed for me to forget. And I do check the list that you guys post in the comments, but... Let, let me put it this... Oh, no! Oh, shit! I am probably about to lose the duel. I am probably... If that is Guardian Sphinx, I will most likely lose the duel. And that would suck. Alright, let's do it anyway. Yep, that's Guardian Sphinx. And Freed's effect will not work on it because it has the same attack points. It'll, think, it'll look like it works, but reading his effect... With higher attack than this card, we have the same attack. If I had a way to lower my attack stat, I could do it, but... Shit. And because of Messenger of Peace, sure, he can't attack me for game. But he... Well, he'll probably just destroy it. Well, I have to do this now, because the duel's over. I got him pretty low, but Stall Duelist... Ugh, so gross. I could have won, too, if Reshev just drew a spell card. If I just drew a spell card during that when Reshef was down, I would have been fine. He kept Messenger of Peace. Because he kept Messenger of Peace, I'm still in the duel. Oh, I don't have enough life points! I don't have enough life points to flip him! Messenger of Peace stops any of my good attackers from flipping him. Shit. Oh, and he'll definitely just destroy Messenger of Peace next turn. Oh, I just ran out of life. That is a shame. 800 is not enough. I take 1,000 if I attack him. Freed, it's, it's over. It's over, Freed. It's over. Shit, man. That is a shame. That is a shame. We lost. And I just got Lightning Vortex. It wasn't out. Oh, he paid for it. He might have a weak enough monster anyway. It might be fine for him. We might. He might have a weak enough monster. Oh, well, and he could just do that. Yeah. A little weird, but sure. He gave me one extra turn, but I didn't have enough to attack because Messenger of Peace is just that brutal. Oh, and the fact that he had three negate cards to protect it. Oh, my God. Gross. You're a gross duelist, Rio, and I never want to duel you again. Atticus, I, I need to get some good duels in. Can I have a fun duel with Atticus Rhodes in his level 9 deck? Yeah! That sounds like fun. Let's fight a level 9 deck today. All right. This is the ultimate Aster Phoenix. I don't know why I called him Atticus Rhodes. Please ignore that. This is the ultimate Aster Phoenix. I need to have a good duel, sir. I had a really gross duel earlier. I could have won if I drew that spell. But, uh, yes. It did not work out that way. Also, if he didn't negate all the burn I was going to throw at him. He negated so much with... I would have killed him. Ceasefire would have done uh, done enough. He only had 1,900 left at the end. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, speaking of Ceasefire, hello there. 
Um, for right now, because he likes to summon big monsters, let me just see if Thunder King will be okay. I have a smashing ground in case he does summon a big monster, but if he gets his fusion, it's game. We are on a time limit when it comes to his fusion monster. Which, honestly, I should just save MST for that possibility. So, the only reason he would play that card so bravely in attack mode, other than, you know, for the good effect, is because he knows he can keep it alive. So, I'm just going to attack. I'm not even going to normal summon. Oh, well, he got me. He played me like a goddamn fiddle. Although, it could also have been a TT problem. So, let, you know what? Let's summon Calculator and see if it was. Nope, and Calculator is plenty strong. Alright, for safety reasons, I will set this card in case he gets the fusion gate. Come on, Diamond Dude number two. He's lucky to start with two of those. Let's see what he hits. I'm glad to know he doesn't have Mirror Force. That makes me feel a lot safer. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident now. We're going to super buff our monster now. And if I do 2,000 burn and three direct attacks, I believe we win, so let's just do that. Ceasefire. Smashing ground. I know you don't have Mirror Force, so I could just go for game. Nice try, kid. Oh, okay. You know what? It's good that I get rid of these. I went for game. He had a way out. Good on him. But it's good that I get rid of these, because this will stop a Plasma possibility and a Dogma possibility. So the fact that I can get rid of three of these is super lucky at this time. We'd be screwed otherwise. Because now he still needs to get two monsters, and he can't do that without Premature or some sort of Revival card. That's actually pretty scary. Okay, it could be Mirror Force now. And since I'm going for game, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. I still have game. Nope, it would have stalled him. It would have stalled me, but he, he cannot stall anymore. That is the end of the duel, folks. We're going to summon Freed. We're going to attack with our massive attack 4200 attack point calculator. And we're going to win the duel. That felt good. <laughs> See, this is a duel I like. I was still able to use some timing and tactics, but I didn't just have to sit there while my opponent negated all my spells and then burn me. I mean, and then won the duel with flip effects, hiding behind Messenger of Peace. That's just brutal. It's brutal, and I don't like it. Alright, let's go buy some cards. Have you forgotten? Alleviate oh, there's a Destiny? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no, I did forget about this. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not in test mode. Okay. Here I go. Sorry if I'm quiet for this part. Shit, I, mis I misclicked, okay. I knew it was going to happen eventually. I was even trying to go slower, but it doesn't matter. That's a light? Okay. I knew it was an insect, god damn it. I saw the sword, I was like, he has a sword. <laughs> they got my brain. I didn't know what that was, to be honest. Oh my god, I have no clue. Okay. I knew that. I knew that. I just... I'm making easy mistakes. All right, well, I didn't do good on that one. That, that, I'm getting worse. I actually had like a good start and I just got worse. 
<clears throat> Hopefully that's enough points to get a good grade if we pass the practical exam, which... Oh, that's a hell of a practical exam. Level 9 Jaden. I know Tyranno doesn't look strong, but his deck is strong. It says level 4. It's a lie. He's actually a good tag duelist. By himself, he might be defeatable, but with Jaden, level 9, with Honest... Oh, dear God. All right. I do not want my first failed test to be with the Obelisk Blue Alexis. We could totally do this, Alexis. I know I didn't do too well on the written test. Probably got like a C or a D. But you have Monju, so we shouldn't have any problems here. You did not need to set Heavy Storm, but I appreciate that you tried to do it for me. Alias. Yep. Get one of your... Get a Hecatrice or something good. Something we can get damage in with. Okay, they didn't play enough. Oh, I drew the wrong one. Damn it. Oh, I drew the right one. Hell yeah. <laughs> drew the wrong one. Damn. Drew the right one. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you got against Reshef. Sucks that I have to use it now, but it, the time has come. Okay, I will use you and you. I will use it to get you out. If I drew a spell card, we would have won the duel this turn. I'm not even joking. We would have won if I had a spell card in my hand. But we might still win just because Solar Ray. So it all works out in the end. In fact, because the duel is probably over. Let's see. 125, 4,000, 5,400. That's 5,500 damage. Was 24. They live by 100. God damn it. Even if I Heavy Storm, they live by 100. Therefore, it's not worth it. Mm. We'll hold off because the duel's going to be... Oh, shit. We'll hold off because the duel's going to be a little longer. If I had a spell card, you'd be dead. Oh, I forgot! I should have just... Oh, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Of course they have Honest. I forgot. Of course he would have Honest. Shit! I just lost my boss. No wonder he was so confident. But I had no way to pop it. I had to start with a spell card. Well, that's a bad sign. We're about to lose this duel. I'm failing this task, guaranteed. Black Velocity's really good. You know, I highly doubt we'll ever have three of these on the field again. I might as well Solar Ray. God damn it. If I had started with a spell card, we could have done it. We could have freaking done it. And this deck runs a lot of spells. We just didn't draw any. Alright. Sucks that we had to die there. We lost everything. I'm sorry, Alexis. One Honest set this all up. Oh, you drew it. Okay, well, we have some good news. The bad news is it might not matter. Now attack Reshef before they steal it. And then I would say set Morphing Jar. Yes, you need a new hand. Though Jaden with a new hand is a scary thought. And he has Neos now, so he might fuse. Okay, Jaden gets a new hand. Let's see what he loses. He had another Honest. He had two in his opening hand. This son of a bitch had two. And now we lost Heavy Storm. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Two Neos now. Great. That's not going to be easy to deal with. Especially since I spent most of my hand and now he actually has traps. That is a lucky top deck. But most likely we're going to lose our monster either way. It was a lucky top deck. I'm going in. Yeah, there was no... Obviously, they're going to get Mirror Force. Our luck stat is just destroyed. But I had to do it because we can't go slow or he'll just get Hyper Hammerhead or something. Alright, do we survive the turn or does he have another Revival card like last turn? Okay, they both do, so it didn't matter. None of this matter. We lose the duel. Honest is so strong. God damn it. I should have known, too. If I started with a spell, we won that duel. But since I didn't, we got screwed. I had to play patiently. I forgot. I was so eager to get close to winning the duel. I cost us the whole thing. It's not even her fault. She fought well. I cost us that duel. Though, in order to win that duel, I had to do really well. That's the worst score I've ever gotten. Yep. Rank down. That was the worst score I have ever gotten. Plus, you guys gotta admit, that was a horrifying combo. So, we don't deserve a pack day. Tomorrow, though, we'll have a good pack day. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all then. Bye bye